Well, we're out in the woods looking for Carter and Puddin'. They ran off this morning after I let them out. I was just washing my windows outside the screen door and they took off. I don't know if they saw a deer or what they saw. But me and the crew, even, even Puff, <laughs> are out here looking for them. Well, they're not. I am. Come on, grazers. Let's go. Where are you going, Puff? They are such brats. These three never chase nothing unless it's actually in the yard or when I'm walking with them on a trail. If they don't see me, they don't go. But the other two, they're a little more old school pits and bullies. And um, they like to explore. Don't they, baby? Don't they, beastie? Beastie bee, come on. Oh, too much grass. Come on. <laughs> so, I guess we'll go back to the house and wait on them to come. Usually about an hour or so. They'll come back. They'll come back dirty. They have to have baths, don't they, baby? They have to have baths and shampoo. And, and then they're, they're dead for a whole day. They have to, they have to just, they're such brats. I don't know if anybody else's dogs do this. They don't listen. These do, mostly. I don't know where Puff went. Come on, Puff! <laughs> Come on, we got a long walk back. Quit choking. Too fat. You know where they went. Carter! Put in. Oh, spider webs. And yes, they have to have tick and flea protection when every month because these were the woods. Somebody tired? We've been looking all morning. Let's go home. Get in your pool. Big fatty. They don't go far at all. Come on, beastie bitty. But yeah, we use um, Next Guard with a little beef chew and they take it really good. We did use Frontline Plus. Oh, too fat. We did use Frontline Plus, but it quit working as good. So we stopped using it because we have lots of woods. And there's fleas and fleas. If you have a lot of fleas on your yard, the dogs will get them. And fleas will lead to tapeworms. And that's a whole nother treatment you got to do. So if you can just get rid of fleas and ticks, you get rid of a lot. And there's front lines. I mean, um, next guard's really good. Um, Trifexis is good. It's still a little more expensive. Um, I haven't tried that collar. That's that Soresto collar. But... I'm thinking about it because you don't have to do anything. It lasts for eight months, but I don't know how strong it is around their necks, and I don't know. Come on, guys. Put on, Carter! <laughs> so, I'm going to have to let you know what time they come home. It's 9.30 in the morning. This is our second sunny day we've had. It's been so pretty. And then, I mean, it's been so rainy that these two days have just been awesome. Oh, baby. You're such a big kid. Beastie bee. Chubs. Hey, Chubs. Come on, Chubs. Come on, big Chubs. I don't like to go in the woods deep because we always run into something, a snake or a... Some scary spider or, <laughs> or chipmunks across our path. They love that though. That and, and raccoon. Well, we hadn't seen a raccoon. We see raccoons at night, but we have 
been walking on our trail, hadn't we, BC? And a deer come whizzing by right around in front of us. Scared us to death, didn't he? Hey, you didn't go with us. Hey, baby, why didn't you want to come? Huh? You waiting on Puff to come back? I see you. I see you, baby. We gotta open up our pool. We got. We're getting it re. The electricity re. Um. Wired because it had a short in it. We don't want to get electrocuted. <laughs> we do have the dogs in there. I bet two pets in the pool. <laughs> yep. We just go out. He's big fat. He's <laughs> gonna get in there first. The pool's a little small. I need to go back and get this. is the one from last year. I need to go get the one that's, um, I need to get a bigger one. Of course, he can't fit half of his body in there. <laughs> but, then we'll cut it off here because we have no, no extra dogs to film right now. Nobody's out. Nobody's up down there. So, God bless. We'll see you in a little while. Hopefully with the other two. Right, too? <laughs>